Good Sunday morning to you all out there, wherever you may be. Uh, good uh, still Saturday night for some of you. Anyway, classic blues as we roll right along here from the studios of WVON. In the middle part of North America, we're on the south side of Chicago. Yeah. So a lot of good stuff going on over here, folks. They saying don't, but I tell you what, it is some good stuff over here. And this is one of the, some of the good stuff here listening to this great program that we have, the Classic Blues and R&B show that we do each and every Saturday night, Sunday morning. We come to you live. No Memorex. We come to you live. And, uh, you know, we in technical. <laughs> you check us out over on YouTube. We over there uh, st- streaming live on YouTube as well. So check me out over there. First YouTube show I've done on this, <clears throat> done here. So check it out. It may be a little rough, but I tell you what, we're going to make it easier as we get down the road. We're streaming live at WVON.com and iHeartRadio. And as I said, we also have been running over on YouTube here. WVON always wants you to get social with us by going to facebook.com slash WVON1690. Also on Twitter, follow us at WVON1690. And on Instagram at WVON1690. You can always reach us in the studio at w, uh, 773-591-1690. You can always get us here uh, by calling the number and I forgot the doggone, but anyway, I ain't going to tell you what I forgot. <laughs> if I don't tell you, you won't know. <laughs> I know what I what I don't have handy for me right here, but that's on me. But anyway, uh, uh, Classic Blues would like for you to uh, get social with us, too, by going to uh, Facebook.com <clears throat> slash Classic Blues and RB. You know, they won't let me get the A, so I just say Classic Blues and RB. Also, follow us on Twitter at WVON Henry. And subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash henrycb6175. Appreciate it, you know. We appreciate you doing that because it's a good thing to participate. It's nice to be nice. It's nice to act right. But sometimes we just don't do it, do we? Don't <laughs> act right, huh? Mm-hmm. You know. That'd be too much like right. Yeah, that'd be too much fun. <laughs> Some, sometimes we just ugly. <laughs> you just played or ugly. <laughs> you know, I was, I was reading a story about a man down in Florida. Now, y'all tell me this. I've heard jokes before in the past about stuff like this. <clears throat> there was a Florida man with no arms arrested on suspicion of stabbing a tourist. <laughs> He's 46. He said he used his feet to paint and allegedly used his feet again to stab a tourist uh, after midnight on Tuesday night down there. So he stabbed a man <laughs> with his, you know, yeah, but that's what he used his toes. I've seen people use that, you know. So that's what he used to do that. This may remind me of the, of the old joke that was, I think it was three guys. One guy had no arms, one guy had no eyes, and one guy had no feet. So they were standing around arguing. This guy said, if you do that again, I'm going to smack you. That's the guy with no arm. That's what he told the guy. And the guy with no feet said, I guarantee you, if you do that, I'm going to break my foot off in you. <laughs> <laughs> and the blind man said, let me step up here so I can see this crap. <laughs> hey, so it may be true, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's sometimes these things go around that way. And we're in the studio here. We got our guest here, Mr. Merrill Perkins, Miss uh, Tamika. Oh, yeah. Nika Dixon and Mr. Dave. Yeah. And Dave think I'm not going to get his name right this time. <laughs> Mittlander. Uh, Matt Lander. <laughs> Matt, Matt Lanier. <laughs> Matt Lanier. <laughs> Matt Lerner. Matt Lerner. Matt Lerner. Matt Lerner. Yeah. I'm a South Sider, too. Not a Midlander. <laughs> Matt Matt Lerner. Lerner. <laughs> South Sider. <laughs> I was Shamika. When, when I first came to the show, he called me Shamika. I said, I'm not Shamika, but... That's not a bad person for you to compare me to, so I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm okay with that. So I see Shamika at the Grammy event, and she told me, she said, oh, I just had a baby. I said, no, honey, we just had a baby, okay? <laughs> because as soon as she had this baby, everybody was hitting me up on Facebook telling me congratulations <laughs> on my new bundle of joy. You know, yeah. I told her, so, you know, I, I'm quite sure I owe some child support, okay? <laughs> because we really just had a baby. It was something else. And you look so good, too. I know, thank you. I mean, I just went right back to, you know. I don't went right back yeah, to the same old thing. Yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with that. All right, back to our studio guests. We're going to chat some more now. Come on, guys, talk to me. Tell them a little bit. Uh, we got a guest on the line, too. Punch him up, uh, uh, Gerald. Punch him up, please. 
Hey, Tamika, uh, you know who he is? Hey, how Hello, you? Carla. How are you? This is Tamiko Dixon, the granddaughter of the blues. And thanks for calling in today. <laughs> Hello there, Tamiko. Hey, Jimmy. Hello there, Tamiko. How you doing today, dear? I'm doing all right. You know, I'm just trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. <laughs> you know how we do. You know it. First of all, I like to... Well, first of all, I'd like to say hi to the WVON family. I love you. And to the great Mr. Sir Henry Cheatham, we appreciate your format. And I'd like to take a few minutes to just say how much of a great talent Tamiko Dixon is. She's absolutely terrific. I've been knowing her a long time. And she's one of those type of artists, I'd say, that's right up there with Chaka Khan, right up there with Whitney Houston. She's just a... Wonderful oh, woman. you're putting her in some tall grass there. We got to see if we can get her out of there. <laughs> hey, you know how we do. Yeah. So in the meantime, what we want to make sure, though, that we, you know, along with people like the great Marshall Thompson and Gene Chandler, the real people that are behind her and her music, we want to make sure we give them a shout out. And, right. and we all appreciate what Tamika was bringing forth in the blues world. We want to keep that blues alive, and we have people like uh, you and the WBON family making sure that we do just exactly that. Hmm. That's sweet, Jimmy. Thank you so much. Well, you know how we do. As a matter of fact, um, I remember Tomiko, we first met a lot of years ago. I'm not going to give our ages away, but a long time ago, and, you know, she was just a great artist on her own. I never knew that she were Willie Dixon's granddaughter for a long time i did work with her just on her wonderful voice alone so she's a star within herself and you got to give her a lot of credit for that she's just absolutely terrific artist well thank you very much tamika so, who introduced your guest yeah so this is jimmy slider jimmy is the first person that ever discovered me singing I guess that's the way I want to put it. Okay. Like, we were hanging out one day, and he made me sing a fan. He made me sing this song. I didn't want to sing it. He had me sing Fantasia's <laughs> Baby Mama. He's like, I'm going to take you out here to my studio, and we're going to record record on a, uh, it was a tape deck that we recorded on. <laughs> and I always had a passion for singing ever since I was younger, but the family never pushed me, you know, in that direction. They was more so, go to school to be a doctor, go to school to be a lawyer. So, um... Yeah, I was working for Homeland Security at the time. And we went into this, his studio, home studio, and we recorded me, and I listened back to it, and I was like, oh, my God, I sound good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and next thing you know, hey, I'm the granddaughter of the blues. I mean, what can I tell you? Take it and run but away. But thank you for that, Jimmy. Thank you for that. Thank you for Oh, you're very, very welcome. But the thing about it was, at that particular time, we did all of our artists on the tape, because if it didn't sound right on the cassette tape, we knew it wouldn't sound good on the tap scan board, oh. so she passed all the tests with flying colors, but that's the type of artist that she is. She's extremely talented, and we love her, and from Chicago, that's from right. South yeah. Side. You know it. And, uh, and we want to make sure that she becomes the greatest artist that ever existed in this town, and she's going to do so. That's for sure. You know it, baby. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. And she does have the... Uh spirit to go after it. So. Oh, yeah, I get to cracking, Sir Henry. She yeah, does she does that. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, well, thank you very much, Brother Jimmy. Tell you what, we're going to play some music here. We got uh, Merle Perkins' song over there, Ready to Go, Gerald. You got it ready? Okay. Uh, ready. Sir Henry Cheatham, thank you. And yeah, thank you very much, Brother Jimmy. Thank you for calling mm-hmm. in. We appreciate that. Yep. Uh, Bye, Jimmy Cole. All right, baby, love. Love. That's a good thing. All right, you're listening to Classic Blues and R&B, folks, as the program continues to move on this Sunday morning. We're getting you ready for church, so don't forget that. We uh, like to take you out on a Saturday night, bring you in on Sunday morning, and clean you up. You're listening to Classic Blues and R&B on WVON, 1690 AM.
song for you, baby. Can I make a blue song? No, no, no.
on Classic Blues and R&B. Tombstone, but 
smoking dynamite. I hope some screwball starts a fight. you're doing big daddy come over here i prove to you baby that i ain't no square cause i'm ready i'm ready as anybody can be oh i am ready for you i hope you're ready for me
heard our studio guest here, Percolator, Percolating. Uh, that's uh, Merle Perkins. You also heard our other studio guest here, Miss Tamika Dixon. And she says she's ready. Now, I don't know what she's ready for. <laughs> she says she is. What are you ready for? I'm ready for the world. Oh, what I'm ready it? to take this blues mainstream to the next level. I just got good news uh, yesterday about my up-and-coming reality show, The Real Chicago Blues, and it looks like uh, we'll be heading out this fall. So it'll be myself and B.B. King's granddaughter and Muddy Waters' daughter and Chicago Blues All-Stars and Sir Henry Cheetah. I'm going to be on your... Guys. Wait a minute. I'm going to be on your... Yeah. Oh. I it's didn't. going down. I keep telling you that. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, you better know it, boo. <laughs> now, where are we celebrating your I birthday I have a loyalty at? to everyone that, that's been helping me with my career, so I'm going to make sure, you know, I bring it back home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. And your birthday party. Yeah, and my birthday party, September the 22nd in Alliance, Illinois, with the City Alliance and the Windy City Blues Society. It's going to be the first annual Windy City Blues Fest. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're trying our best. We're doing our best to make sure that we blow this one out of the water, you guys. So. Ain't no water down there, is it? Yeah, it's water down there. <laughs> There's actually a lake on the and festival. See, uh-huh, and that's and what the, you get. the Des Plaines River runs right past it, so uh, there's plenty of water. Hmm, uh, right okay. in the water, baby. All right, okay. You can yeah. go fishing. You can launch a canoe. Okay. You can take a kayak. Yeah, you so we got so many artists on this festival. Lord yeah. have mercy. I mean, we got over 40 artists. Got over 40 artists. I saw the other day somebody advertising the Prairie Dog Blues Festival, which is a great festival, but they put in big, bold letters, 12 artists. And I thought, man. Y'all got 40? We got, we got 40. Over 40 two artists. Two stages, yeah. two days. We start at 11 o'clock on Saturday. We go to 1130 at night. Out in the woods. Okay. And then Sunday we start back up at noon. We want to make sure everybody has a chance to go to church. So we start at noon and we go till about 7.30 at night and give folks a chance. Oh, and then there's an after party at Waterworks Pizza mm-hmm. and Tavern. And shout out to Waterworks. We just got a nice big donation from Waterworks Pizza and Tavern today for the Thank Blues you, Festival. Waterworks. Thank you, Waterworks. It takes money to make the blues happen. Yes, it does. Yes, make it does. It all, but we have know. a lot of great artists, myself included. My original Chicago Blues All Stars, Nellie Travis, uh, Eddie Taylor's family, Brenda Demetria, and Eddie Taylor Jr. Yep. Of course, uh, we even have a new blue band, which is Mark Maddox and Carly Sky, Buddy Guy's daughter, uh, Lori Bell. You know, uh, the Ben one? Miller Band. Mm-hmm. They're uh, kind of psycho Delta. Psycho Delta. You, you've heard of psychedelic. <laughs> But they're and you've heard of Delta Blues. They're kind of psycho Delta, <laughs> and it's uh, it's a group that you just won't be able to stand still. It'd be like you got the Saint Vita stance. They, they're constantly making you move. Uh, Matthew Curry is playing, and we got Deke Harp. He's gonna uh, Jemiah on fire. Jemiah Rogers is oh, playing yeah. with his dad, and that's, that's a that's a beautiful story right there. That's oh, yeah. a beautiful he, family. He, I've had him here. He's a good young man. Great young man. He'll be he'll be playing. We've known him for a number of years. And uh, Matthew Curry and Deke Carp out of Clarksdale. He plays his diddly bow. I told him, I said, Deke, make Not sure you... diddly, diddly bow. Diddly bow. Yeah. Okay. I said, make sure you get your diddly bow all greased up and ready. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, and that's the 22nd. And then the 23rd, uh, we have uh, Demetria Taylor performing that day. And... We have the International Blues Challenge. Yeah, the Chicago Blues Challenge. So that's on Sunday on the second stage, and that's actually not set yet. So folks who do play the blues and have a band and who have not won a WC Handy or a Blues Music Award, they can apply and be part of the festival. Uh, Just send an email to the Windy City Blues Society at gmail.com, a way for us to listen to some of your music and it's a possibility they could be part of the festival themselves. The winner then goes on to Memphis uh-huh. to represent the Blues Society in the city of Chicago and uh, in the International Blues Challenge, which is just such a beautiful event. Over 200 musical acts from around the country and around international acts that come and show up, and it's a great event in Memphis in January, yep. and uh, it's a great opportunity, the Chicago Blues Challenge, to get down there. All right, Merle, tell us a little bit about that song, The Pergolator. Yeah, the percolator 
Because my last name is Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I arranged that song. Uh, and we and when I, I had my band, Merle Perkins and the Percolators, from 1990 to 1997, I would have a coffee pot on stage, and we put an incense in there that it would smoke while we were playing <laughs> the percolating song. Uh-uh. It opened up with that. You know, and uh, actually I had a great guitar player. You probably heard him. Pistol Pete was in my band. Oh, I yeah, took Pistol Pete. Pete air all over the world, man. I took him everywhere. Uh, he's a tremendous hot guitar player. And I forgot to mention the guy that I bought, uh, that bought the drum set for was D.K. Thomas, which he's a drummer, and he started playing guitar. And he took me to the Philippines last year, uh, took me there in May and also took me there in November. And I did a TV show, you know, they advertise a TV show and advertise. We got the legendary Merle Perkins coming here to the Philippines. That's all on YouTube. On a, You can find a lot of stuff on me on YouTube on a Merle Perkins The Percolator. Or you can go to Google and put Merle Perkins Blues in there. And, you know, I'm all over the place. It's, you know, also on Band Mix, mm-hmm. on Twitter, Daily Motion. It, it never ends. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> and, I'm sorry, Merle. Go yeah. And then I'm doing a show with my band uh, August the 25th in LaSalle, Illinois. Um, and I think uh, it's a place called the Steakhouse. And uh, they, ha- they already got the advertising. Jimmy, Jer- Jimmy Burns is playing there. Also, uh, James Armstrong. And also, Mike Wheeler Band is playing there. Uh-huh. Uh, but the other people I don't know. But they have bands that are going through from all the way from June all the way to August. They got different bands. But they got the main pictures, which I'll be posting mm-hmm. it on all the blue sites yeah. when they get close to that date. And, uh, yeah, and speaking of Mike Willoughby, Mike Willoughby is also going to be on our showcase uh, on September the twenty second. Mike, uh, Willow. yeah, they'll be there representing Mike Willoughby, and then and then after that, they will uh, they will bag Nellie Travis and uh, Lori Bell. So that's going to be oh, hot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And Mike, yeah they, Will, and Mike Will is one of the great ones, and he's uh, working all over the place, you know. Yeah. Quite, quite professional, one, probably one of the best professional bands around in Chicago for the blues. And that, that bass man, what's his name? Larry. Larry, Larry Williams. Williams. Larry is that it? Williams, yes, Man, he is. that is the best daggum bass player. Yes, he is. He's I think my in life. the galaxy, <laughs> you know, I think in the Milky Way. He's probably the, he's probably the best bass player in the Milky Way. I'll yeah. just say that. Mm. And he's left handed. Yeah, yeah, he's left handed. <laughs> He yep. saved my behind because when I was doing that IRS song, my I had a band that I was working with. They flaked out on me. They couldn't they couldn't get it. And so I had two days in a wake up uh to get that song done. The budget was already paid down in Memphis. And I called Larry Williams and I sent him a song with me snapping my finger. And Larry came and said, Baby, listen, I got something for you. I'm gonna meet you at the studio. And we got up in there and we put that song down and that's my hit. You don't wanna mess with the IRS. So Larry Williams, I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, he, he saved my little killer. tail. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. And he 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 I'm, <laughs> he always talked about me every time I'm playing, man, <laughs> this cat here. You know, we complimented each other all the time, mm-hmm. you know. And stuff, oh. Uh, he loves when I sit in with them. Uh, my friend from Jiva uh, that comes from Brazil, uh, uh, actually it's a recording that we uh, sit in. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jiva is a great guitar player out of Brazil, out of St. Paulo, Brazil, and they the one that had me over as a special guest in 2013 as a special guest artist. Yeah, Merlin, I noticed you something you about, and you know, sometimes people don't even think about this. Now, like, I noticed you got an endorsement for a symbol. Yeah, I got a Soul Tone Silver endorsement. Yeah. And I had a Silver Fox stick endorsement, but the guy, Al, passed away. And that was out of Key West, Florida. Another company took it over up in Maine, but then I tried to, to contact them. I sent the, uh, they said they were honored a contract, but I could never get a hold of the guy. So then uh, my friend, I, uh, which is uh, Grant, he's got a, Fine tuning, he does drums in Homewood, 
Uh, he has a studio out there. He hooked me up with uh, February the 12th uh, doing an interview in Liverpool, England, and they played my song, Funk the Blues, before they did the interview. Actually, this is uh, right here, this interview here. This is the fifth, uh, fifth one. I, I think the fifth one or the sixth one I have done. And then also Lynn, uh, when she does Heartland Cafe, she did say they just built a studio, so she was going to contact me, and she wanted me to come and uh, do an interview there. But she wanted me to perform and play with the band, bring a band and play. So you still got your band, or you just picking uh, up pieces? Yeah, oh, I still, I'm doing that. Like I said, I'm doing that gig in uh, August 25th in LaSalle, Illinois, with Merle Perkins and the Percolators. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to the top of the hour, guys. We're going to come back and uh, continue to chat with uh, the Chicago Blues Hall of Famer. Meryl Perkins yeah. and uh, the granddaughter. <laughs> the youngest inductee into the Chicago Blues Hall of Fame. And That's the true. best looking one. Yeah. You better yeah. know it, baby. Yeah, she is. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to go to the top of the hour here, and we'll be back. You're listening to Classic Blues and R&B here on WVON, 1690 AM. Talk of Chicago and the voice of the nation. 1690 WVON, Berwyn, Chicago.